Okay. Hi, my name is Isaac Kim. I work for MRV Communication. We're a company that specializes in optical transport, um, anything uh, transport over fiber, uh, wavelength division multiplexing. We also specialize in uh, carrier uh, Ethernet products, uh, both uh, in the aggregation and at the demarcation. Our specialization is primarily Metro Ethernet. So uh, we believe in the future that all carriers are going to be transporting products. Uh, instead of using DSL or T1 or T3, they're going to be transporting Metro Ethernet. As part of our, uh, our transport product, we, we're now announcing our Terascope 10 gigi free space optic system. So in, in a situation where you have two buildings in, and they have uh, networks in both buildings, they normally try to connect the buildings up with a piece of fiber, a fiber optic in the ground. That can be very expensive to dig up the ground and lay down fiber or to lease the fiber from the uh, carrier, from the phone company. So instead, we can put these devices on the rooftop and actually transport up to 10 gigabits per second between building to building. It's, it saves uh, so much money in digging up the ground and laying down fiber. And it's, it's a wireless system, but the wireless system, we use our, our specialization in optics that we've developed in our fiber optic business to build these optical wireless systems called free space optics or FSO systems. And so what we're announcing in, in the show today is a, a 10 gigabit FSO system. Um, in the past, we've developed, um, again, as the uh, carriers have needed uh, more bandwidth, you know, we, we've got 10 megabits back in 1995. In 2000, we did 100 megabits. 2005, we did 1 gigabit. And now we really feel that in 2008, uh, 10 gigabits is uh, the, the wave of the future. And, and so we developed this system to do 10 gigabit uh, transport. We find that customers, as they buy switches, as you can see throughout here, we have a whole series of switches that do 10 gigabit now. And so we know that there is a demand for 10 gigabit uh, between switches. And also the carriers are also dropping off 10 gigabit services at the customer as well. So we know there's a demand for 10 gig, 10 gig e in the in the fiber transport. So there will also be demand for 10 gig e in the, in the wireless transport. Yeah, this will be available um, at the end of this year, end of 2008, and the price is going to be 45,000 for a link. So that includes both ends. Normally when you buy wireless systems, they, the price is just for one end, but 45K is for, for both ends. Also um, popular free space optics is a one gigabit. And we've actually managed to get the price down for one gigabit to nine, $9,000, 9K for a link. And, that, and that's, a, that's a very nice price for one gigabit connection wirelessly. For 100 megabit, we've got the price down to uh, 4K, $4,000 for a link. Again, which is a very nice price for a wireless connection at 100 megabits. So because this product is new, 45K might seem like a lot of money. But again, like a lot of the products, we think in the future the price will go down and the distance will go up as well.